Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to do a craft with me followed by a quick little cleanup. To make this farmhouse sign, I'm going to use a Dollar Tree stretch canvas, also a sponge paint brush, scissors, a Sharpie marker, a paint pen, a glue gun, a pen and a pencil. Also white paint that I picked up from Dollar Tree, Rust-Oleum wood stain and a Leatherman tool. I'm going to show you the uh, tool that I think that's going to work well to remove the staples from the wood frame. And I choose to print the word thankful that I found online but choose whatever you wish. After removing the packaging from the canvas, I realized that I could cut part of the canvas needed with an X-Acto knife, but I decided to remove the staples and y'all, let me tell you, removing the staples from the wood frame was a pain and it felt like this took forever because these staples are thick and you would need something flat like a flat screwdriver or just using a flat tool from the Leatherman. Next, flip over your wood frame and begin to stain it using your sponge paintbrush. color I'm going to add white paint to my frame but you guys if you didn't have any of the supplies that I'm using to paint my wood frame Dollar Tree sells shoe polish and it will work great for this project I place my frame outside to dry and to help transfer the printed word to my canvas, I'm going to scribble the back of the paper with a pencil since I don't have a silhouette or a cricket. Then trace over using a pen and it will leave the remainder of what you wrote on top of the canvas. Next, I trace over the words with a Sharpie pen and then fill it with a paint pen. Next, I trace over the words using a Sharpie marker and then I fill it with a paint pen. Quick tip you guys, to prevent my paint pen from smudging or from drying, I make little marks on scrap sheet of paper.
Cut about half an inch from the line that you made so none of the canvas would stick out from the wooden frame. And last, hot glue the back of the frame and place on the canvas. Trim off any excess. And this DIY was actually a gift for some dear friends that we were seeing later on tonight. And this is the final look and I love how it turned out. If you decide to make this farmhouse sign that I shared, please tag me over on your Instagram story so I can see how y'all's turned out. Now that I'm finished, I'm gonna do a 10 minute cleanup. It's not a crowd here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing the whole, everybody's singing the whole. I don't know what it is about you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got some cleaning motivation. And let me know if you like this combination video where I do a craft and clean with me. It was so much fun to film for you guys. And do not forget to subscribe below if you haven't already, girlfriend. Until next time, you guys, stay beautiful.